Hello, hello everyone. Susan here. I have pulled out the Patchworks of Memories Kiwi Club kit. And all I can tell you is that of course I'm obsessed because I love anything and all things to do with fall. So if you're the same way, then I'm sure you're going to just enjoy this kit overall. And it's just a beautiful season. Oh, let me, hold on. Got a little shaky there. There we go. Um, first off, I wanted to just kind of go over, uh, thought this would be helpful. I did it last month and you guys let me know if it is helpful or if you have any other questions. But of course, the goal here is to make time to like to create. Specifically, <clears throat> with this Kiwi Club Git, what a great reminder every month when it shows up, the importance of making time. And each Kiwi Club Kit can create at least three two-page albums, or layouts, <laughs> sorry, not albums, um, but layouts. And so really efficient, effective use of the paper, but lots of inspiration besides the design templates being that visual um, spark of inspiration. The title cards also provide that as well. And so... I'm going to go through that process again that I personally go through each month as far as deciding what pictures to scrapbook and gathering that supplies can be a process in and of itself. Probably the most time consuming part, if you ask me. Um, um, it seems like when I sit down to scrapbook, you know, those seem to come a lot faster than deciding what pictures to scrapbook. So first off and foremost, I know that I can get at least two sorry, three two-page layouts. Um, I've been able to do it consistently, so I confidently know I can get at least three two-page layouts. And so these sheets over here are the background options. They are double-sided, of course, but I don't even start to assess paper until I assess my title cards and the vibe. So clearly I've looked at the color palette. I've um, seen what the patterns look like. Um, and so, I have that all kind of stocked in my mind. And then I'm gonna use the title cards for some of the um, inspiration as far as which direction to choose which pictures to scrapbook. And that does all play into color palettes, theme, um, and other factors like what's on the title card. So right away, I'm gonna look at a title card, gather here with grateful hearts. This instantly makes me think either just friends gathering together, um, an eventful thing, or of course, another just beautiful way, not saying necessarily happy Thanksgiving, but could be around a kitchen table or something like that. So again, they're double-sided. So if need to be, you can take advantage of both sides. Family ties are precious threads. No matter where we roam, they draw us closer to those we love and pull our hearts to home. Okay, so really pulling on the patchwork, um, aesthetics i guess you could say and so naturally family pictures so i have guys they're probably perfect this was not planned i have these pictures where it happens to be we were blue kind of uh even my daughter's hair was blue but there's the touches of blue here and so the color palette actually works pretty well so that's right away one option for me so um so I'm going to put the family ties there and kind of keep going. And the sun took a step back. The leaves lulled themselves to sleep and autumn was awakened. So we have an autumn kind of pile. Each life is a unique quilt created by a patchwork of memories stitched together by the threads of time and love. This honestly can be any type of moments, um, general or whatever. It's really for me focusing on the patchwork of memories and so how each memory really adds to our story. And so this could go with my family vibe. It could go with an autumn. It could go with the moments that we make, uh, memories at Thanksgiving or anything like that. Um, these are really cute. These are designed, if I remember correctly, I didn't pull up the template yet, but there is a banner, oh yeah, right there, that the reason why there's two to this part is because this banner will fit really beautifully into those spots. Um, so whether that's falling in love with moments, again, kind of that general thing, I could probably put this in here or fall is in the air. Each one of those would actually work great. I think there's, oh yeah, there's also this one where it's fall is cozier with you. Cute. When I make 
with my hands, I did with my heart. So maybe you have something that's a little bit more stitchy or quilty. I wish I had some pictures of my mother quilting. I'll be honest. I When I opened this kit, I thought of that instantly because she's the quilter that comes to the first forefront of my mind. Um, if I was going to play off the whole quilting concept, the stitching concept, but I did scrapbook the ones where she was sewing her hands, but I just wish I had a picture of her. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> a little loud laughter in the background, but um, of her actually with the quilting rods laid out in the living room when I would just have huge memories of where, you know, the, the um, gosh, what are they called? <laughs> the quilting rods and I would go under that quilt and um, it was like a little little tent for the season that that quilt was set up in the living room while she was tying the knots on it. So I have memories of it. The moments, the vibe, all of it comes in this paper reminded me of those moments, but I don't have any of those pictures. I'll have to check with my siblings. So just a beautiful, just again, those are kind of some of those moments that I'm seeing Thanksgiving. It can be family. It can be the patchwork things. It could be fall, the creation of a thousand forests and one acorn. My goodness, guys, we've had so many acorns fall from our tree this season. So many. Anyway, so I, I love all picking your own pumpkin patch. Pumpkin patch. Oh, so cute. I don't have any from last season. We didn't do one probably because of COVID. I think not many were open still, but they're, they are this year, and so uh, I'll have to go out and maybe take some more pictures and buy another paper kit because I'll not have them for this round, but maybe next round. Um, another is like a quilt. Each one is beautiful and unique. Oh, see, again, I just, my mom. I'm probably going to find a picture of my mom, honestly. I'll probably pull one out here in a moment and um, see what we can find. Sometimes the smallest things take up the most space in your heart. Okay, so just precious moments, everyday moments. Doesn't need to be too specific. So you can see very broad perspective on the use and usability and versatility of this kit. And um, of course, once I get my samples done, you'll see them here in this idea book, along with, of course, Shiloh and Debbie's, um, what they personally took the kit and created with it and transformed all of this into a different creation. So um, always an exciting, um, very fulfilling aspect to do that. So I hope that you make the time to do just that. Um, I do have these, these fall pictures of my daughter, random photo shoot that her and her sister went and did. And um, I mean, that just streams fall, so it's perfect. I think it was uh, a few years, gosh, what year is this, 2019? kind of the year after we moved to the east side and of course just fell in love with the trees and how autumn just sings here it just it's beautiful we also went up to the blue ridge which if any of you guys are familiar with that which my goodness driving the blue ridge during the fall season is amazing so patchwork, I don't have those printed, but clearly any type of pumpkin patch or picking pumpkins. Um, I do actually have some pictures. I'll have to print them off my phone. Um, and I do like to print from home. Like these ones, if I have them printed from another place, which I got a uh, batch done at Snapfish. Otherwise, I print from my Canon selfie, which I didn't have these ones. So I went to my phone and I printed those. That's why you see the, the white ring around those. I also have these pictures, which was a very special experience for my kids um, with a, a church temple dedication. And so kind of uh, the colors work. They have a lot of warmth in them. So I thought about doing those pictures. Um, honestly, probably I would do, if there was a title card, I'd probably do gather here with Grateful Hearts because we all gather together as a community and um, and that's an eventful thing that was very special that I have not scrapbooked yet. So that's an option too. So clearly lots of options here. Um, and then of course, just some, I have some pictures where I'm just out in, in fall <laughs> in nature and uh, oh, so many options for me personally. So hopefully you're feeling the same way. It will be the hardest is just to decide which ones, but 
if need be, you can always pick up another paper kit, just the paper alone and, and be inspired by the samples. But for the most part, just start with one. I do have these pictures of my mom. She was canning. My sister took these pictures. Um, she was a big canner. She had patience for it. Not me. I don't, not so much for myself, but um, I've joined her on occasions and it is a, a long day event before you feel satisfied with the accomplishment from start to finish that you get. I think honestly, for whatever it's worth, I think that's why one of the things I love about scrapbooking is I can sit down and within an hour or two, I can feel that from start to finish accomplishment. So again, I'm just going to throw it out there. I hope that you guys just um, make time, put something on the calendar, pull the kid out and yes, analyze it, assess it. But when it comes down to it, just, just decide, you know what, if I scrap with these pictures, I'm going to enjoy it just as much as if I scrap with these or these or whatever. Right. And so like you can see, I, I have plenty of options and I haven't even printed the pumpkin patch ones. And part of me says as much as I do love a good pumpkin patch picture, um, event. <laughs> I really, really do. Um, I might start with the ones that I already have printed and then go from there. That might be a way to make that judgment call as well. Um, so lots of opportunities. Again, feel inspired by the colors in the paper. Feel inspired by the themes that you see, whether that's the patchwork, the pumpkins, the fall. In this case, that's kind of your three hierarchy things. Or again, keep it general. If you need more of that general vibe. I went over this last month a little bit in the Sugar Rush kit, so you can find that video there. If I don't wanna pull on one of the main patterns and do like means with supporting, you could try doing where it's just this pattern and the color palette and do really cute pictures of say your grandson or your son um, playing in the park. Or if you, is again, if the color palette's what's inspire you, then go with the color palette. If it, the themes are what inspires you, then go with the themes. If the title cards um, spark something, then like follow that inspiration where it takes you. And, um, and then of course your pictures kind of take in consideration all of that. The colors, the themes, the title cards, the usage that you can get out of it. And so then with that, you have an assortment Yes, assortment that at that point you have to condense down <laughs> to some final decisions. So for me, um, I'm going to do just that, knowing that I can at least scrapbook, at least scrapbook three different type of events. Um, this one, I only have two. So if I choose to do that, it probably would just be a one pager. And then I would probably see if I can find something else to do a one pager. So I have these pictures. So one, two, if I wanted to do that, that would be my three layouts. And then I would have to, which probably honestly, then I could take my scraps and do a quick one pager, maybe pull in a white or a cream background or something and then take my scraps. So um, I have no doubt with what I know that I can get out of these Kiwi clubs and how far I can stretch this paper um, that I could accomplish all of those pictures that I already have printed. And then I'll have to just pick up another paper kit for my pumpkin patch memories and print those off because they would be perfect for this as well. So hopefully those little um, insights um, and perspectives on the process that we all have to go through is helpful on helping you to decide for yourself what pictures to scrapbook with the Kiwi Club kit this month and how to kind of go about making those decisions. All right, guys, I can't wait. I look forward to it, to see what you guys play to create with this Kiwi Club kit. Like always, share it with us in the community. Use hashtag create with Kiwi Lane. Check out the challenges that we have in the PDFs to inspire and motivate you to make the time to create this month, during the month of November specifically, to find a little time to play to create so that you can not only accomplish some of these, uh, you know, documenting some of these photos and feel the fulfillment that comes from that, 
from going from start to finish, but also to reap the rewards of allowing yourself space and time to create and to allow that to resonate and renew and rejuvenate you and will flow into the other aspects of your life as well. And um, I have experienced that and I know how valuable it is to make time specifically consistently enough and hopefully at least once a month is kind of that that uh, goal so all right take care we'll talk to you guys soon bye now